hello guys welcome back to my channel today's tutorial is on passion to waste so this is the hair we're using for this tutorial it's called the water wave um futurized hair so um right now i'm just uh, applying my shine and jam um before i'm um, parting the hair to define on my part that makes your braid looks um neater and makes it easy for you to braid especially um, natural hair so she has like a 3c uh, curly hair texture so I'm just gonna take the comb and just comb the product um, through and then section it into the desired size that she wants so um, this is like a medium size um, passion twist and she's getting the waist length um, passion twist so I started by um, prepping the hair so I use one um, strings of hair so I'm just gonna um, pull it into two and run my fingers um, through it from top to the bottom and then slide my fingers right in and then uh, place it on top of the hair so I started by doing the um, rope um, twist and then later on I transition into the regular um, Senegalese um, method and I'll tell you the reason why um, later on so you're just gonna make sure you're twisting the hair as you are braiding down or as you're twisting down so it's tight and secured so it's not um, loose um, when you are done so you're just make, gonna make sure you're twisting as you are crisscrossing um, the hair all the way um, to the down and to down you want to make sure um, it's tight enough and if it's uh, feeling too tight you can ask your clients uh, because it's twist so you can ask your clients to hold on to it to reduce the um, tension on the pressure on their hair so you're just gonna keep um, twisting all the way um, to the ends so this is what it should look like when you're done. So I'm just um, showing you guys again. So you're just gonna pop the hair into two. You're gonna start um, from your right hand side and just roll the hair on the extension here like three to four times until it feels uh, tight enough and secure. And you're gonna do the same thing on the other side, like three to four times and then cross it over. And you're gonna make sure um, you keep twisting it as you're crossing it over. That is what gives it the uh, tightness and it secures um, the twist so it's not loose um, when you're done so you're just gonna keep on um, twisting and creep from um, crisscrossing until you get to the bottom of the hair And also if you're a braider, let me know in the comment section how you like to do your twist, what method do you use, um, do you use the regular um, Senegalese twist or do you like doing the rope um, twist, So, which is um, twisting it all the way um, from the roots. So um, for this client, as I said earlier on, I started with the rope twist, but because she has like a curly 3C hair texture, Braiding a hair with a curly hair was kind of um, slippery. It was not holding on as, a, as much as I would love it to. So that's why I switched um, to the Senegalese um, methods. So let me know in the comment section how you braid um, curly hair or other tips. And by the time I was done, you can actually not um, tell the difference of the curl of the road twist or the Senegalese twist and um, you guys will see at the end of this video stay tuned so for the sunny delicious um twist uh, method it's pretty much starting with back braid uh, a little bit and then you um section the air into two so it's like box braid transitioning into um twist so that's the regular senegalist um twist method so also because she wanted um, a waist length, I was I had to add some hair um, to the length of the hair uh, to make sure it's long enough to a waist. So um, I think the hair comes like 18 inches. 
teach you to do something so as you go as you keep braiding up it's gonna become shorter so in order to make it equal length you're just gonna take another hair and just add it into the um, braid so that way it's equal length to the ones you've already done hopefully that makes sense so for this tutorial we use um, the water wave pearl um, color 1b and color 30 so the color 30 is like an highlight so i did more of the black um, color which is the color 1b than the um, color 30 just to make it pop so i really do like the mixture of the color so what's your favorite color let me know in the comments down below so i'm also gonna make sure to uh, have the link of all the products that i use for this tutorial so please check the description button down below if you're interested in pushes in the hair uh, from amazon.com so check it out So um, like I said earlier on, if you want to have your braids looking uh, professionally done and neat, you always, always want to get a uh, product. And one of my favorite products is the Shine and Jam Hair product. So you, it's really very um, easy to use. You just apply it on the hair and just take your comb and just comb it through the hair. Uh, through, I just like to do this uh, before parting the hair. So it's just um, makes it looks neater as you can see it makes the part more defined and makes it look uh, neater before braiding so especially for um, natural hair i highly recommend uh, applying products in order for it to become um, easy to braid and neater and if you would like to see a detailed tutorial on how to part um, the hair before braiding um, there is a link in the description down below, so um, check it out. So because of how um, sensitive the edges is, don't be afraid to ask your client to hold the hair to reduce the tension on their edges. You don't want your client going bored after getting their hair braided. So you know, make sure they're holding on to it, especially for twist hairstyle.
So this is how your twist should flow. You can see how fluffy it's looking and this is actually one of the reasons why I love, love, love this style. I love to run my fingers through it and it's just so silky and fun to touch. So here is the finished product. My clients love, love, love her hair. <laughs> and um, she was all over it <laughs> so if you're looking for an air style there for summer i would recommend this style i mean passion twist so because it's just fun it's happy it's lightweight it's a very beautiful style trust me it looks more beautiful in real life than in video <laughs> so um let me know what you guys think in the comment down below. If you like this video, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.